Okay, here I have the Gemini Plus by Dormacaba. And this is a, another high pin count lock. It's got um, locks coming slightly upward from the left. And there's five uh, pins coming up there from, there's five of them. Six coming up from the right, and then four pushing down from the top. Um, the drivers in this are um, a mix of standard and other ones that have like a tapered down step. Uh, there's a lot of those actually. So when you pick those, you have to pick them twice once to get them to the step down, and then again to to get fully picked. Um, a number of the key pins in here have a thin lip on the top of them, so they're easy to overset. So you want to be careful about that, because if you overset one of those, it's kind of game over. Um, so to pick this, um, I have a Sparrows SS Dev, the thicker one um, with the lowest profile. I have no idea what's called, but or what width it is. And I'm using this to pick the top pins, but um, I might be more in favor of the multi-pick number 10 and just kind of going on the top left corner and, and turning it there. So we'll see for this one. And for the left and right pins, I have a multi-pick number 3 and a multi-pick number 6. So here's the 6 right here. It's got a left side flag to it, and that will be for pushing the left pins, and then the, the 3 for pushing the right pins. I don't know if you need both of those. You can probably just have... A straight up and down one or use the same one for both sides but it gives you a little bit more better feel and leverage um, for it so let's start with this uh, let's see let's start on the left so the right because I know the right side number one is springy there so the left side number one is binding it'll click there the right side number two I'll go back to um, I'll go to this right side pick right side number two is binding click there so that's now springy uh, left side number two left side number two I can still see is a really fat pin I don't I don't know why it's different size but let's go ahead and push that I'm doing it very slow because I don't want to overset anything so I got to click out of that that's springy um, left side number three seems springy left side number four I can't get onto it because there's a, a binder on the right. So I'll switch back to my right pin, uh, right flag. So right one, two, right one, three, four. Feels like it's binding. Click there. Um, can I get on right five? I think this is right five here. I can get on a little bit. Can't quite get on it though. So I'm going to have to go after the left side one. I could force my way down, but then if you have like a zero lift or something, you risk oversetting that. So take it slow. I've got a little click out of um, that left side number four. And now left side number five. Click out of that. And that's all the left pins. I got a, at least one click out of. Or, or no clicks, whichever. Uh, one on the right side. Two. Three feels like it's jiggling. Four is loose. Uh, five feels like binding. Click from five. And six feels like it's jiggling. So let's check again one more time. One, two, three. They're all loose. Three feels like jiggle. Two feels like it's springy. One feels springy. So springy means it, it, it goes quite a bit of distance. Jiggle is just like a set pin where I can feel it moving just a little bit. Four is springy. Five is springy. And six is jiggling. All right, double check the left side, and then we'll take a look at the top. So number one on the left, springy. Two on the left, springy. Three gave me a tiniest of clicks, actually. Four feels like it's jiggling. And five might be actually binding. Click from five. And I felt a little bit uh, on my tension wrench movement there, so it might be time to start checking out the top. A tiny little click off three again, so I'm not sure what that is. Something just catching. So let's check the top one. So I'll use this multi pick 10. And pin one here. Feels like it's binding. I don't get as good feedback with the, the multi-pick as I do with the SS dev, but it's easier to 
navigate the keyway with all these pins in here. And it's a little bit hard to, all right, I got click out of one, a little bit hard to lift the pins. Two, we'll click out of two, three, see if I can get all those on it. All right, a little click out of three and four. Click out of four, I felt a little bit of plug. Um, I'll double check up front again. Yeah, he feels uh, springy too. Yeah, they all, they all feel a little bit springy. So let's go back to um, check the sides. So pin number one on the right is binding. Little click out of that. Two on the right, binding. Little click out of there. Three on the right. Little click there, four on the right. That one already feels a little bit springy. Where's five? That must be six. Feels like it's jiggling. All right, let's check the left side here. Left number one is uh, jiggling, it feels like. Left number two. Left number two. Can't, doesn't seem to want to move. I think once you get to this point, it's a little hard to overset, but I still want to be cautious. Left four, doesn't seem like anything, and left five. Not sure, so maybe I have to check the top ones for if any of those need a second click. So top one. Really hard to feel the difference in feedback for the top versus uh, set and jiggle with this multi-pick. Because on the left side, you're resting on top of pins. It's just not a good platform to pick. All right, nothing from one. Oh, that's just me slipping off for two. Not even sure what three is. I'd say up top we're not we're not really binding, so it's got. Let's double check these right side ones again. Uh, one is jiggling. Two is jiggling. Oh, <laughs> something clicked towards the back there, and I felt a little uh, plug movement, so something gave out somehow. Uh, right three not, uh, is jiggling. Right four. All right, little click from four on the right. So maybe he needed to tilt to go. Five, oops. Nothing from five. And six is definitely jiggling. Double check one more time. One jiggle, two jiggles. Just have to go halfway back. Three jiggle, four jiggle. Yeah. All right, let's check that left side now. But it, well, I guess my son is... Youngest son is done with school. Just got a massive announcement from him. All right, two, I don't feel anything. Like it's not giving at all. Three's not, three feels a little springy. Four is jiggling and f five is jiggling or springy. All right, so back to the top. Maybe we'll get something from the uh, second clicks from the top now. So the first one is right here. Pretty sure he's jiggling, I think. Two, feels like it's jiggling as well. Three, three is really hard to feel. And four, I think I felt a little bit of movement on the plug when I touched four. Every time I go over it, I feel something on the tensioner. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those are set. It's just gotta be something on the left that's holding me up at this point. So let's go after left one more time. It's gotta be something here holding me up. 
One, no. Two. A little click from two. Three. Nothing from three. Nothing from four. Five now feels binding. It'll click from five, but still feels it has more to give me. All right, got click from five. One, two, three is very hard to find on the left. I felt a little bit more plug movement, so I think it's time to check the top again. It's just nothing from one, two, maybe I can feel three finally. Oh, was that something from three? I can't quite tell. And four. I think I got a little click off three and four on the top. Maybe that means one will go now. Nope, one is already okay. Two is okay. And four. I keep feeling little clicks when I take the pick out and the pick's not even there. It feels something. All right, one on the left. Two on the left. Three on the left, can't be felt. Four on the left. Jiggling. Five on the left. One. Where is three on the left? Can't find three ever. Don't feel three on the left at all. all right, I'm going to try the sparrows and, and see if I can feel anything on the top. Maybe I'll get better feedback. It's just me sliding off something. I think that little click sound. Two. Three. And four. Oh, click from four. So the sparrows did help. Um, I had to push the four up har uh, harder, but I think that with the multi pick 10, I was getting too much rotational flex in the shaft to actually uh, do what I needed to do. All right, so we got it open here. Um, you can see there, open. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and get ourselves some autofocus here. Switch glasses and take this apart. Get that out of the way. Get that there. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, we'll lock it back up. So they're locked up. There's a screw here, but for, yeah, oh, whatever. We'll take this out. Okay, out the back we need a, there's like a, a coin slot, so we'll unscrew that with the coin. Put that there, unscrew that all the way. And there are a couple pieces here that fall out. So um, you'll have the cap, you'll have this piece, which is the same shape as the, uh, as the back of the Plug, so that'll go in there, and then you got this piece which interacts with the, um, the actuator. So that piece marries the back of the plug to this piece that marries to the actuator. Um, it has directionality to it. One, one side is thinner than the fat side, so you got to put it in the right way around. Um, but we'll put that there, and you'll see that this thing can't fall out yet because you have to pull the plug out some. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll turn that a little bit. And we'll pull the plug out just enough to drop this piece. Oh no, what am I talking about? We'll pull the plug out all the way. Um, and there's that piece. The, the flag. Oh. Um, so here is the overall thing. But this is the part we're interested in. This is the whole mechanism here. It's all self contained. Okay. Um, it has a clip on the back we'll have to take off. I didn't bring out anything to take it off with, but it's a pretty easy one. So let's just see if I can push it off. There we go. Pushed it off. All right. So now to take this out, um, I have two custom followers here. You can see they say Cabot Gemini Plus on them. Um, one has a long slot on it, which allows you to easily um, gut one entire row. 
And then for reassembly, this one I find a little bit easier. It has a little channel on the front there. It might be hard to see with all the light. And that'll allow you to um, fill, drop your stuff in there, fill that chamber, rotate it, fill another chamber so you can work on uh, the chambers very closely. This end is shaped. It's got, I don't know if you can, there's so much light. Let's see. So you can see one side's thinner than the other. So that's going to fit onto the back of this plug just like that. But it has a little notch that I cut into this. Uh, I could make these available if anybody's interested. Um, and then I just had to manually cut that little notch out there. Maybe I'll draw that in as well. But basically when you put this in here, the key's going to stick a bit out the end. So you need that little notch in there um, so that that'll fit there. And that'll fit nicely on there. Um, it's good to rotate it just a slight bit um, because that will uh, cause things not to catch as often. And then you're going to want to, well, this is what I like to do. I like to pull it straight out, uh, up and down, so that gravity's not pulling any pins out. And let's see. Let's go ahead and rotate it a little so it comes out more smoothly. And we'll go ahead and just push that down like that. All right. Now we got, um, we got the plug up there. So for this, you can see there's, our left side has five, our top side has four, and there's our right side with six, okay? So I'll go ahead and start to cut this. So number one on the left. I'll put the left here, I'll put the right here, and I'll put the top up there. Number two on the left. So let me work down here so I'm not, not so much clanking. Number three on the left. Number four on the left. Five on the left. Come on. Now the top. One up top. Two up top. Three up top. One fourth one up top. All right, now the right, one on the right, three, six, two on the right. Sorry, that's rolling off the screen. Three, four, five. And I commented how the second pin on the left was really fat. So that one doesn't have any sort of like, uh, Uh, pokey thing at the tip like if I look at another one here you see how it like pokes down at the tip and I just noticed also that number four on the right is also fat like this but it's too far into the the plug for me to actually see it um, but the chambers don't look different so I'm not sure why they have fat ones and non fat ones all right anyways let's get to the uh, the Bibles um, so that one follows so this is the front of it so we'll start down, I guess, the left side of it. And you could just take them out one by one and rotate it, but we'll take one entire um, row out at a time, I think. That's what we'll do. Uh, I just lost a spring, so I'll have to find that later. So we're going to be missing one spring in this gutting. I really need to remember to cover this when I take the next one out. There's a second spring. The spring went over there, uh, which is just a cor uh, like a a wall corner. I don't know if I can show it. Let's see. No, I'll show it after. It's like a little wall corner, so I'm not worried. <laughs> it doesn't. It can only go maybe six inches. Um, all right. So third one. But that said, that it can only go six inches in that direction. You know for a fact that it is about 15 feet somewhere behind me. Um, because that's how these springs like to like to work. They have their own laws of physics. Come on, spring. Spring three. Yeah, you see the gutting probably takes longer than the actual picking. All right. See if I can get that spring. And the last one on this side. these 
right way around. Uh, Alright, one more try and then I'll just... Alright, now let's go for... you got to remember to pull this all the way forward. I've turned it and all of them just dropped down. Um, Alright, in the other locks. So the top number one. Alright, top number one doesn't want to seem to pop out. There we go. Number one on top. Flip that. Number two on top. And here's the spring. Number three on top. Oh, what are we doing? All right, I'm doing them completely backwards for the drivers. I'm doing the drivers backwards. I have to resort this. Because I said this is the front, so this is actually driver number two. Uh, okay, so that's three, that's four. Springs don't matter, I'll just leave the springs. Why are you getting stuck to my tweezers? And this is two. And that means that all the drivers down here are backwards. So here's one. Where did I put? Where did I put the other ones? How am I missing? Where? <laughs> um, I thought I temporarily put one down somewhere, but there are two missing. Oh man, this sucks. All right, I might have to check the video to see where I. Oh, I put it right here. There's not two missing. There's just number two. Okay. But wasn't that number six? I think these all go over one. I will check the video afterwards to make sure. I think it goes like this. And already it doesn't look right. Because um, the stacks, I think, are slightly balanced. But I don't know. I'll check the video after. Um, let me just double check something. I remember I felt tapers on one, two, three, four, five, and nothing on six. I'm definitely gonna have to check that after. <laughs> that is annoying. All right, so now the right side. Starting, remember to start from the back on this one. This is the last side at least. Right side, and if I have enough time on the video, so I'll try to speed this up a little. Um, if I have enough time on the video, I will um, show how to populate it, maybe one or two chambers. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm ignoring the springs for the most part, except that they're flying everywhere. Let's get this out of here. Oh, almost lost a pin. Okay, two and pin one. Oh, two of them. How do I have two more? Oh, I forgot the top driver, okay. Uh, I'm making a mess of this, aren't I? Um, I don't know which one. Here's the top driver, but I do have a photo. So, I'll just put that there, and I'll put that there. Put these, and I lost one spring up top. I'll show a close-up of this, and then um, we'll go on to see if I can repopulate. Um, all right, so there's, there's all of our things. We have, like I was saying, for the drivers, you can maybe see down at the bottom how it steps down a little bit, and that's why you have to pick those twice. The key pins, these are the fat key pins. And then, like I was saying, that um, they have like a thin lip up top, so you could overset these on the key pins. But that is the uh, Cabot Gemini Plus, and let's quickly take a look at if we can populate one of these. Now, I don't remember which side is the front and which side is the back. And there's another spring. Um, I should have kept track which side is the front and which side. Okay, the back has a crimp, so let's go ahead and take the shorter one of these. And um, basically, you would start far away on this. Um, so usually, what I would like to do is take the other one. 
I'd populate some of these first ones just manually, a couple of them, right? Just so I don't have to go as deep with this one. But what you would do, like if let's say we're down here, you can see there's the you could populate that one with uh, you'd want to pop you'd want to populate that one, and you cover it up, and then you can populate that second one there, and you can then push up, rotate over here, and you can see you can populate this without messing with other chambers, right? So you can really just go one chamber at a time. One there, one there, and you wouldn't be messing with that. Uh, where's the other side? Here's this side. So you could definitely do that. And you'd have to, you know, you have to populate this uh, second one here before you could populate that top one because that would be open. So once you populate that, you can go up here, and now you can populate this top one and go over there. So it makes it a lot easier to have a appropriate tensioners. Okay, so a bit of a mess on the gut. Sorry about that. But that is the uh, Dormacaba Gemini Plus. Thanks, everybody. Bye.